Every deck is an aggressive version now. I am. The ratio of like aggro mid range to any control decks is off the, off the scales now. It's off the chart, sorry. Dude, welcome to the stream. Good evening, or good morning, I should say. It's only turn two, I'm not lost 10 HP. It's crazy. I, I could probably take a fan. I could probably just take an Oracle here. Dr giving him cards it doesn't really matter when he's already got five. Sap that. Or is the yeah? There's an there's an eviscerate play now. This is probably the best for rogue. This one's pretty good for my heal bot. There's not very many sappable targets in this deck. The random two drops is good as well. I'm sure that'll get played. Oh, it's rubbish. To act, it's a little bit recoverable because it's all one health minions. So, fan and knives, trade, and then just play my one drops out. Fan first. So I can draw backstab. Uh, if oh, if one of my lackeys stay alive on Kev, a fan is less useful now. This add a coin might be quite good. Oh wow, thank you. Truly a generous uh, offering there. Oh, but if he goes face, I'm scared. Zillax is a, a better position for that, yeah. Because um, he's probably not going to leave my... It could be. I don't think I'm at risk of death, though, just yet. I don't know how aggressive he goes, if he trades the heal bot or not. I can... That's where he got off Swash Burglar, a weapon buff. I'm gonna give him black easier. I have pretty uh, pretty good potential for like Zillax, uh heal bot. Fine, it's not good because it's a 2 2. I could go for a big risk. I could get Vanish. I could play this coin. Should I just, I'll just go for a big risk play. Either Valera or Vanish would be huge. I could Vanish here. 
do that next turn. Yeah, now I've got heal out Zillax as well. I kind of want to play that on a zero board. I suppose there's no choice though, is there? Should do it now. Should I split the stats because of... Uh, I think I split the... I don't know. I don't have Valer in hand. What I'm saying is I could get I could do Togwaggle, get wand, draw three cards, and then the three cards I have a good chance of either finding Vanish or a Valera to hide. Yeah, there's a ton of battle cries on table that are a bit tricky. It's gonna be Vile Spine. Ooh! No, it's not. I don't heal there. Uh, I heal now. Interestingly, he doesn't actually trade this. Doesn't see it as a threat. Okay. We're gonna do it. There we go. I would have hit it. I would have hit the Vanish. I can actually backstab this now so it doesn't get returned. Then hit the Vanish. I would overdraw. Or I could just play Shark. I don't think you can kill the Shark actually. I don't really want to overdraw Valera. I suppose it's like, it's quite fun to play against these types of decks because you can try find ways of just surviving. But it, the, the downside is you don't get to do any fun stuff with Cthulhu. But I suppose if you play against like Big Priest or Jade Druid, then you have the fun of like trying to get Cthulhu lethal. So that's quite nice. There's different ways. I did miss lethal last game though, which was a bit annoyed. The good thing is I can redo that play. Um, I can get two ones. It means I'd ever draw a card though. Which is interesting. Just gonna spam. Okay, I'm okay with that actually. Oh, there's Valera. Wand has a lot less return value now. I'm thinking of doing crown. A double crown. Let's kill that. Because I've drawn all the big cards from the deck, so the likes of um, Blade of Cthulhu and Vanish. It's low cost cards remaining. Um, I didn't play Crown there because I can save Crown, Valera, double Crown. Uh, I've used all my heal bots and all my healing, so there's not much time uh, left. Do I have a coin hero part? No, I save the do I save the coin? Coin hero part. No, I can't coin hero. I get hero power then coin, I mean, and then play this. It's the one HP matter. Or the one damage. I wonder. No, coin's probably more useful. With double up spells. That's scary. 
If he has a low, low feb's a, a problem. He hasn't got it yet. If I Oracle... Oracle Vanish. Then it kills off a lot of this stuff. Or maybe I Vanish Oracle. No. Vanish Crown. If I Oracle first, I overdraw. Unless I backstab something first. I don't want to kill a target though. Take it back for cheaper, then vanish. Does it matter? Probably not. I can't mill him. I've got six cards. I would end up killing myself here. Uh, I'm better off Shadow Step and Blade. Or Shadow Step and Caster. I think Crown, Crown. He's going to be the next play. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm going to die. Please and Blade. Sick. So only all minion all minions have a chance to lose the attack. All minions. So this is great because it gives me more chances for him to miss. It's fantastic. The only downside is I can't uh, trade the one one. You know what, Ogre, I'm okay with that. He could have gone he could have gone face there. So our our board stack like that means um I'm not dead to Leroy. The weapon still hits me. It's only minions. He, so he can he can absolutely kill so Oh he can kill an ogre and then and then Vile Spine one. But that's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Moga cost six. Uh, there is a very good play of Shadow Step Moga Moga. I can Shadow Step. Well, I can attack with Moga first because he's die. Perfect. Then I Shadow Step him, get my trades in, and then play two. So my trades would be Hmm. 
Me too. The one problem is, uh, I'll die to. I'm dead next turn. Am I dead now? No. Oh, I could be dead now. Could be dead now. Fuck. Okay. 